Hi there, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom. In this week's video, I want to talk with you about the Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt divorce slash custody dispute. So something a little personal about me that you probably don't know is that I am a huge People magazine reader. Um, and I attribute that to growing up when we'd go visit my dad's mom. Um, she had stacks of the National Enquirer um, that she loved to read. And when we were growing up, I would read them when we'd go and visit her. And so now as an adult, I don't read the Enquirer, but I do love People magazine. It has lots of interesting stories about celebrities and who's dating who and who's split up with who and what's going on as far as divorces and custody disputes. So in this week's issue of People Magazine, I was reading about Angelina and Brad's divorce and how the custody dispute is actually heating up. And one of the things that I gathered from the article that I was reading was that the children aren't having um, a relationship with dad as much as the court would like to see them have. And let me just grab the magazine here, it's Scoop, and I'll just read from it. It says, the June 6th court papers obtained by people state that the children not having a relationship with their father is harmful to them, and that Jolie could be even be in danger of losing full custody if the minor children remain closed down to their father. So I don't know anything about the case, um, except that they're splitting up, they're fighting over kids and what I read in People magazine. But it just kind of wanted me to talk to you for a minute about giving the other parent frequent and meaningful continuing contact with your children as you go through your custody case. Now, assuming there are no um, serious issues that would put your children in danger by having contact with the other parent, it's in your interest to promote the kids' contact with the other parent and facilitate it and encourage it. Because I have seen in many cases where one parent is actually doing quite the opposite. They're discouraging the children's relationship with the other parent. They're withholding the, chil the, the children from the other parent. Um, you know, they're not getting the, kill the kids in a mental state to go with the other parent when it's the other parent's time. And I've seen it backfire. People think that by withholding the children, they're gaining something, but in the end, they could be losing something. Because remember, things always go back to, in custody cases, the best interest factors. One of the best interest factors the judge is going to look at is what parent is the parent who's more likely to promote frequent, meaningful, and continuing contact with the other parent. So what People Magazine seems to imply that the court papers are saying is that in some way Angelina Jolie is not the parent who's promoting frequent and meaningful and continuing contact with the other parent. And because of that, she could be putting her own custody situation with the children in danger. So if it applies to Angelina Jolie, there's a good likelihood it's going to apply to your, you in your case. Of course, again, there are exceptions, especially if you, know, you have a situation where parents uh, got substance abuse issues or serious mental health issues or things like that that would not be in the children's best interest for that parent to have uh, contact with them or unsupervised contact with them. So hope that helped. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe on YouTube, like us on Facebook. Keep on trucking. And until next week, remember to command the courtroom.